free market doesn't exist. Ha Jun Chang writes that a market looks free only because we so unconditionally accept its underlying restrictions that we fail to see them. And then Kate adds, you know, from passports to medicines and AK-47s, many things cannot be legally bought without the official license. Trade unions, immigration policies and minimum wage all have an effect uh, on a country's uh, going wage rate. You know, companies reporting the requirements and you can go on, you know, with the employment laws, with the, with the trade laws, uh, laws that en uh, enable in trade the, f you know, even the free trade agreements that is also something that is enabling certain things while trade restrictions is something that trade restrictions and tariffs are restricting the trade flows and then you know if you look at almost any business any industry like the free market that we have now is actually not free the monopolies are not allowed or rather the monopolies abusing their monopolistic position is not allowed there is tons of other caveats in the competition law like the uh, restriction of cartels and, and price fixing and many many different things so the the idea that the markets are actually not free in the pure Adam Smith kind of sense I think it's it's quite common sense and we definitely if we think about it then we know it's true but it's something that has to be kind of drilled into you once for you to be like aha uh -huh, the market is actually not free like we think it is another actor in the economy is the state and uh, the state is essential uh, so Kate thinks that we should make it accountable she says here Milton Friedman uh, was determined to limit the state's economic role to defending the nation policing its streets and enforcing its laws it is essential that you rely as little as possible on the political mechanism and as much as possible on the market mechanism of voluntary cooperation where each group can go its own way. And Paul Samuelson strongly disagreed with that view actually. He said that the creative role of government in economic life is vast and inescapable in an interdependent and connected world. Sorry, interdependent and crowded world. Since Paul Samuelson's writing, I think we... there is... I don't want to lie, but I think around 3 billion more people uh, on the planet. So it's certainly more crowded and it's certainly more interdependent, more so than ever. The role Kate has for a state in the economy is the state has to get the best supporting actor award at Oscars. So then I, I, this really resonated with, with me because I think this is exactly what state should be doing. You know, in many films, if you think about the best supporting actor award, those supporting actors sometimes have to take central stage when something's going on with the with the main actor as part of the plot. So I think this is exactly what the government should be doing. Be, you know, strong, present uh, in the setting, in the scene, and when, you know, stuff hits the fan, you have to step up and become the main actor for a bit. This is how you win the award of the best supporting actor.